All right, let's do it. Challenging Shogun for the title. So I already have the WFA title. I gotta try to get the UFC title. All right, get two training things here. I wanna get my strength up. Stand up spar. Dun dun. Dun dun. Alright, watch Shogun. He's gonna be mad hard now. They're probably gonna amp up his difficulty because he's the champion now. Watch. So I'm gonna have to start blocking and shit. Kickboxing time. I want to see lots of movement. Use that space. Damn. Knocked his ass out. You're looking great. Hurry, fucker. There you go, that's what I'm talking about. Ten seconds left, push it! Oh, that was beautiful, man. Damn, I got to kick mad late. <laughs> Submission slightly went down, but look at that. Cardio went a little bit down, but my strength went up. So I think I'm going to keep doing that. I'm going to do another strength one. Got to make my strikes really powerful. Work on your stand up. Here we go. Did you fucking get over here? I see you're improving. Oh, what the fuck, you asshole. Nicely done. You're definitely improving. Let's go, let's go. Ten seconds left. Very nice. Fantastic nice. job in there, man. Ten the way in. Nah, we did that last time. It was a waste of time. <laughs> oh my God! Come on. Now it's time for our main event of the... Coming up...
up next, it's a light heavyweight title fight. Fighting out of the blue corner is Boris. Heard everything. Let's fight. Fuck this. And he better not be fucking amazingly hard. Of course, I know he is. So we're gonna beat my ass. Fucking bullshit. is brought to you by Boost Mobile. We are now set for the official introductions and with that 14.6 stone. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, as bad as a kickball. And now, introducing, and when the action begins, our referee in charge. Ready? Forrest Griffin, Ready? Mauricio Shogun Hua. And here we go. All so right. give us your thoughts on the challenger. He's back again to try to take that belt off. Left hook, he's down! What the fuck? I can't believe he got back to his feet. He is hurt badly. Wow, that right hand. And he answers. He's got the clinch. He's really landing those short punches inside, Mike. Yeah, he's totally hard. What a great display of hand fighting. And fans at home, you've got to realize that these men are really working to get to a dominant position. He caught the leg. Caught my leg. Oh, that's big, Joe. He dove right into that. What the fuck? Putting it up. Into the guard. Joe, this place is going wild. He's looking for the guillotine. He's got a guillotine with the arm. Ah, oh, I have. Fuck. God damn it. Great submission defense. Wow, great oh, job he done defensively. He decides to let him up. Well over two minutes remains in round number one. Fuck. Oh, head kick. He caught the kick. Who eyes cut here, Mike? Stumped. That's a pretty good sized cut now on Hula, Mike. He's got his back here. Suplay. Suplay. And into full mount. Just can't get out of his mount. Man, those are knockout punches, Joe. Vicious punches from the top, Mike. There you go. Half guard. Come on, get me out. Get me out of this guard. fucking thing. Just over a minute remains. I did it. I won the title. And it was hard. I just had to block a little bit and get out of his uh, attempts, his shoot attempts. Look at this. Yeah, that was Boom! Right in a perfect Goodbye. Spot. And here we see it again. Good night. Boom! Boom! Look at that. Oh my god. With our official decision, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies. Very nice. All right, so I won the title. I didn't get my, my revenge on Rashad Evans, but I still won the title. <laughs> so now I want to see if I can go over to Pride, and I want to fight in Pride and see if I can win that title. And I'll be a triple title holder. Very nice. Awesome. 23 and 3. First title win. Huh. Very rarely in life do you get an opportunity to, to do things twice. When I fought Hughes for the first fight and I got beat by Hughes and I, you know, I thought that was it. I'll never get another shot at a world title again. Hmm. I almost retired from the sport shortly thereafter because I couldn't find any more fights. And now I'm completely away from the sport. 
I come back, and within a year after I come back to mixed martial arts, now I'm fighting for another world title. So that was a, that was a phenomenal opportunity. A week before I fought Kenny, I completely tore my shoulder. I ended up fighting with the torn shoulder. Oh, shit. It wasn't an option I had to, so I had surgery as soon as the fight was over. Early in the second round, I ended up getting cut over the head, so I fought three and a half rounds. Oh, my God. Cut that the fight could have been stopped at any point in time. Blood so everywhere. Time just waiting for the referee to pull me off and say that's it, the fight's over, you're cut. I overcame a lot of adversity, and I was, I was just so happy. I Holy was fucking was shit! For a couple of weeks. He won the fight. That is nuts. He did. Like a stuck pig, and he fucking won the fight. What a badass! Sean Shirk's the fucking man. Congratulations, champ. Yeah. You've achieved what every fighter dreams about, a UFC title. You'll now be facing the very best talent the division has to offer. You're well on your way to earning a spot in the UFC Hall of Fame. Huh. But this takes more than just victories. Winning of the night and of the year awards adds to your legacy. So keep up the good work and continue to dominate. And one day, you may just be inducted into the Hall of Fame. Sweet. Alright, so I have to see what other fights are available.